What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense, and it's not looking great for Wendy Williams, and we got to talk about it. Like the videos, the intro plays. Make it make sense. Oh, make no. it make sense. That's all. <laughs> one and one got to equal two. Make it make sense. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, you know, I, I love that. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense, Bill. Big moves. Surfer. Welcome, lurkers and all. Hey guys, now you know I love Wendy Williams, so this was a tough one, but her her son is giving an interview to the son, and it to me, it's kind of giving vibes like his daddy. Just saying. Um, it says, she needs help. Wendy Williams' son, Kevin Jr., fears mom is near death and blames team for a spiral as he breaks silence in his first interview. Now, this is with the U.S. son. Y'all, this is a paid-for interview, so let's go into that knowing that they probably cut this boy a check. Um, Wendy Williams' only son, Kevin Hunter Jr., fears his ailing mother is near death and blames her team for her sad downward spiral, he told the U.S. Sun exclusively in his first-ever interview. Kevin, 22, slammed Wendy's inner circle and accused them of taking advantage of her wealth, fame, and inability to make sound decisions amid her battle with severe alcoholism. I don't want this to be another situation where they want to put Wendy in some form of a conservatorship or handle her money. As far as we know, Wendy is still of sound mind. Now, she's had some issues. We all know that. But the direction that this is taking is scary in my eyes for Wendy. Um, it says, Kevin said his mother's mental and physical health has been in jeopardy since being placed under guardianship last year. He believes that concerns over Wendy's health have been pushed aside while others around her are profiting from the projects she's involved in. What projects? She's not making any money. That's the kind of thing that scares me. It's the whole profiting. Where is the money coming in? Kevin told the U.S. Sun, I know there are all sorts of things happening that I know in her right mind she would never agree to. Now, that might be fair. As hard as it is seeing her being taken advantage of, I know that if I'm making sure she, as a person, is okay, that is the important thing. Because eventually she's going to realize the craziness that's been going on. The U.S. Sun recently exclusively reported that she was hospitalized in the last month in New York, which her son now also confirms. Kevin said Wendy's jeweler turned manager, Will, CB, which, or Will Selby, which I don't trust, contacted him in mid-May to tell him that his mother was in the hospital. Kevin claimed it was the first time he had heard from Will, who often he calls the jeweler, in several months. Kevin said, Will called to tell me she was in the hospital and added that the last time they spoke before, that was the end of, this, uh, the end of last year. At the time of our interview, Kevin claimed that no one from Wendy's team, her guardianship, or the court that holds her guardianship case had told him that Wendy had been released from the hospital. Now... Did they say you couldn't go see her? That isn't... You guys can put in the comments. I didn't hear anywhere where they said that he could not go visit his mom. If your mom is in the hospital, why wouldn't you? He also said no one had updated him to let him know that she had allegedly been moved out of New York. He's 22, so he is still young. But I do think that if somebody told me my mom was in the hospital, I'd probably find a way to get to that hospital. And if they have not been forthcoming with information, then that's a situation where you have to take it into your own hands and put eyes on her. Lay eyes on your mother. Um, Wendy's rep, Sean Zanotti, gave a statement to another outlet on May 20th following the U.S. Sun's original report that Wendy was in the hospital in New York. 
It says, I can confirm that Wendy Williams is not in the hospital as reported. I can also confirm she's not in New York, Sean said at the time. It's kind of giving Jamie Foxx vibes at this point. There's a lot of things that are being shrouded in secrecy that I don't understand. Um, Wendy bowed out of her scheduled speaking engagement on May 20th at the Atlanta Women's Expo, days before the event was due to her apparent declining health. Kevin's concern. Kevin expressed his concern about the people around Wendy presently who continue to profit off her. What's been made more important by the people around her is that while her health may not be great, she needs to keep on earning income. But how, Kevin? Where is this income coming from? And in my opinion, that should not be a priority. And whoever has been hired, they are taking advantage of someone who needs to get better. Kevin said his mother health has declined since she was living with him in Florida from late 2021 to around the spring of 2022. Under his care, he said he would take her to restaurants that didn't serve alcohol and he had her exercising and eating healthier. I'm pretty sure he is worried about his mom. Wendy's alcoholism. I know the rate that she uses alcohol isn't like a normal person, and we've spoken about it. I've said, this is one thing where you don't know how to approach it normally, and that's fine. And it's gotten to a point where, yes, it could have that effect that it might be fatal because it's affects, it affects her way worse than a normal person since it stays in her system. According to her son, who said she was in his mother's doctor's appointment when she was with him in Florida, Wendy's various ailments have a compounding effect and her body doesn't process alcohol like the average person. Y'all, this is getting, the story started off sad. This is getting, I really am worried for Wendy. There are a lot of people who are very aware that there is an issue with her drinking and how that issue may be helped. But I think that these people are taking advantage of it while allowing it to play up to make it look like they aren't causing the issue. Oh, wow. Wendy spent nearly three months in Malibu rehab from August to October 2022 for alcoholism, and Kevin said he was told his mother signed contracts either during or immediately after her stay for working arrangements with the jeweler and manager Will, taking advantage. They had her in a position where she was agreeing to a lot that she shouldn't have. When I heard that, that turned me off, Kevin said. In trying to attempt to know what everyone's intention is around her at first, I was like, okay, is this the team she wants to have around? But once I heard that she was agreeing to stuff around her rehab, I thought, well, okay, they are taking advantage. Kevin claimed that the times that his mother does go to get help she desperately needs, people seem to swoop in and use the opportunity to get her alone. I felt, I feel that when it comes to people wanting to help her, a lot of it is coming from a stance of, okay, she's alone now. Let's try to see how we can make her act the way we want her to act or if we can control the rate at which she's handling herself. Kevin said he also believes his mother's team is emboldened, has emboldened her drinking. If they aren't providing it, they are definitely enabling a type of personality and giving her the green light to drink. After Wendy was spotted bar hopping in April, her publisher, Sean, released a statement calling her night out a celebration. They're just putting their hands up. When someone's hired help, it's very easy just to allow certain things to play out. As much as someone may try to say that they're there for somebody, if you're being hired to be there, there's only so much you could say. I never wanted to shame anybody, but in terms of asking if that person is there so that my mom can be the healthiest person and have a long career, stuff like that, they aren't in it for that. They are just here for there, for here and now. I don't want any of this to come across like I am mad at anyone. They don't know the situation fully, and there are times when she does talk that she may sound coherent enough and they will think okay she just wants to have fun and for that reason i will never i will never have hate even with the hired help everyone is just trying to take care of themselves it is what it is he continued including your daddy wendy's unscripted project at the end of 2022 kevin claimed that will had asked him if he wanted to be a part of this unscripted project wendy has been spotted filming in recent months the jeweler reached out to me last year and he basically said, we are planning on this project being a way that we could tell the public about what's happening. And I was opposed to it. I felt like, and I still feel like, she shouldn't be doing anything that involves putting herself in front of the camera. I agree, Kevin. It goes back to putting work first. I was then reapproached by the production, not by Will directly, a second time, and I just said no. The 22-year-old college student had always been supported financially by his mother, and in large part, lost that support when her financial affairs were taken over by the Guardian. Now, that's kind of what I was talking about. Wendy had him in a $2 million condo in Miami, like a really nice condo building, a high-rise, beautiful, and that's gone. So I'm wondering 
if the money, because we know Kevin don't have any, the older Kevin, if that's why he did this interview. I believe they said the son does pay for exclusive interviews. No, don't hold me to that. We'll say allegedly. But if this was a paid for interview, for, does anybody else, if this is a paid for interview, does this in any way distort how you receive this message coming from the son? Is he going public with this in hopes that he's going to force her hand to get better? Or was he paid for the interview because his dad didn't have any money and Wendy may not be able to pay for his $2 million apartment or we don't know with the guardianship how much money she can spend. This is all crazy. Um, it said, turning down Will's offer to be part of the unscripted project about his mother meant he was saying no to a lucrative opportunity that could have been a financial life raft for him. They tried to offer me $25,000 to appear in the unscripted project with executive producer credit. And I chose to not do it for the simple fact that I just felt however this came about was under a contract she shouldn't have agreed to. When asked for comment on the various allegations against him, Will Selby said no comment because half of this stuff isn't even true. Majority of this is false. When asked for further clarification, Will insisted he saw Kevin and spoke to him in April in Miami. Will claimed, I was in Miami with Kevin. I forced him to have a conversation because he seemed a little disgruntled. I spoke to him face to face, 1000%. I was like, if there's a problem, let's talk. If there's an issue, let's have a conversation. I don't understand. Wendy made the daddy, Kelvin, her manager. No business experience. Now a jeweler is now your manager. We can't even say that Wendy made these made these choices when, you know, she was under the influence. This is the life she chooses to live going from Kelvin to a uh, jeweler as your manager seems normal for Wendy. Um, when pushed in yet another request for comment to expand on any additional points, we'll respond There's so much here that is inaccurate. It's not really worth me commenting. Wendy's guardianship. Kevin also takes issue with Wendy's guardian, Sabrina. Wendy was placed in a guardianship after Wells Fargo froze her bank accounts as they suspected the star was the victim of financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. It has been really sad what's been allowed to happen. And ever since the court hearings ended, something just has to be brought to light about what's going on and how much people are taking in this situation. In terms of who is there now, people have put other things in front of her actually healing and getting better. And unfortunately, unlike many other alcoholics, she is worth a lot more money. Wendy's son continued, I know that Sabrina has a relationship with the jeweler and I would assume that they are cool with each other. This is how this was created. Now that's some stuff. That's, that's, what do you do at this point? I feel really bad for Kevin. I don't know what the ultimate goal is for Sabrina as the person in charge of stuff, but there have never, but there have never been articles put out saying Wendy isn't okay. Wendy's son hit out at the guardian's handling of Wendy and her lack of communication with the star's family. He says the son's hope. Unfortunately, Kevin insists that his mother absolutely should not have been working. She should have continued to work and she should be focusing on her health and her recovery. Kevin said, I think that it's best for her to have for her to prioritize her health first. Nobody around her will tell her this, but she does doesn't have to be working. She needs to take a break from trying to progress her career and just be proud of what she has accomplished. Now that I agree with. Um, when asked if he had a plan in all this, the plan is that I'm hoping and praying that the people who are up there in New York with her right now don't lead her down the path to where something can't happen to help her. If there was a way or if there was a plan I could think of, it wouldn't be doing this interview. I would be doing something that I could do. Kevin added that he thinks something has gone seriously wrong with the way things have been set up for Wendy. In terms of what is and what isn't, when she was with me, none of these articles of her not looking well ever came out. When she got dragged back up there to New York after the court hearings, that started happening. And from this perspective, something has gone wrong. Kevin said he is holding on to hope. I'm praying that whoever is in control now doesn't ruin whatever hope there is for her to get back up again. Y'all, I told you this was a sad story. Honestly, I want nothing but the best for Wendy. She's one of the best to ever do it. But like he said, maybe being in front of the camera is not for his mom right now. If he's saying she's near death, I think that we need to take that. If you're not a praying person, definitely send Wendy some positive energy. If you are a praying person, Go ahead and say a prayer for her because this has been a really steep decline for her.
I'm going to see you guys later. Have a good one.